Okay, today is May 15th. It's week six of the Malad CSA. I'm going to show you what produce we got this week. First of all, we got some um, Chinese cabbage heads on here. The next picture, we have some <clears throat> uh, radishes. Grow about 10 different types of radishes here. These are really nice little radishes that we can grow. This next picture is of kohlrabi. We have some purple kohlrabi and some just some white kohlrabi. The only difference between those two is just the outer skin. The inside tastes about the same. These are some fresh green onions. Starting to get our first batches of the fresh green onions. This next picture is of turnip turnips. These are these are specialty turnips. They're not like the purple top turnips you're used to buying. You eat the whole plant here. There's a Hiroshio turnips and scarlet queen. This is a type of a lettuce. This is a radico. Those smaller red heads kind of has a little bit of a bitter taste that you add to your salads. This is a romaine lettuce on here. I take away the outer leaves, cut the hearts up, and just use that with Parmesan cheese and pepper. This is another type of an oak leaf lettuce with green and, and red leaves. This next type of lettuce is a butterhead lettuce, sky pulse. These are kind of the main lettuces that we grow. So if you've watched the other videos, these are just the same type of lettuce because they do really well and taste good. This is a, another reddish lettuce, um, sky pulse. We also grow a Vulcan lettuce that's also about this color. This is the greenish, it's a green leaf lettuce. This is Tropicana on here. It tastes about the same, just green leaf. This next stuff is manch. This is also called miner's lettuce. This, this, this has to be below 65 degrees for the seeds to germinate, but it's just kind of a little additive to your salads. This is bok choy. We also we actually grow about six or so different types of bok choy. These next sets of things are herb, this herbs. This is our big leaf parsley that we grow, kind of different from the triple leaf on there, two types of parsley. This is the our this is our dill plant, our just the baby dill still in the fern leaf stage. This next picture is of oregano. So this this you can either use fresh or if you're going to dry it, yeah, and they say make sure you hold it upside down to dry it and then powder it. This is just spinach. We have several types of spinach that we grow. Um, I think we have about 11 different types we're growing now. We just blend them all together. This is asparagus. So this asparagus will keep coming on for the way we have it planted and orientated with the sun. This will keep coming on for a couple of months. And again, more strawberries. We're into our strawberry season where each week we're getting more and more strawberries. This next is cilantro. This is also just a uh, herb that's used in Mexican dishes. We like to grow that. That just adds a nice flavor to stuff. This again, again this week we have kale. We'll probably have this kale almost every week throughout the season. We pick it in the baby leaf stage and have about six different types. This again is just our 20 leaf lettuce green salad where we have 20 different types of leaves. We'll only be able to grow this in the spring and then it gets too hot to grow. Same with this baby lettuce. We can, we can grow it good in the spring when it's cool, but as it starts to get warmer, it wants to bolt quicker. And finally, we have just some basil here that we smells really good. Either use it fresh or dry it. But that's what we had for this week, so thank you for watching.